What's going on everybody? Today we're doing the April Glove Box Detail Monthly Box. Now, if you didn't catch the last box, I'll put that link in the description. That was my first box. Uh, this is probably and hopefully going to be a continuous thing for us here where each month we open up and we go over what's in the box. So without further ado, let's jump right in. What's in my April monthly glove box detail box? So let's do it. In case you weren't familiar with last month's, this is what the box looks like. Curated products for car people. It's GloveboxDetail.com. This is their social media links. I'll put these in the description below. Let's just open it up. I already cut the tape to save a little time. Again, here we go. We are met with a very nice designed box and another letter. Again, these are the little touches that are making this box for me worth it. This is good and I don't want to read the back part of this yet. I'm going to save that for a second because I like to open it. You know, it's like, you know, it's a little a fun little thing. I like to open it and then be surprised. I don't want to know in advance what's in there. So I put that to the side. So let's get it out of the way here. I'm just going to move some of this some of this stuff out of the way and let's just pick what I find to be interesting right here here is the first little item in our monthly box this is all wheel and tire cleaner by wizards powerful safe non caustic foam okay non caustic foam so let's read the back because I'm not familiar with this we're all learning together here Safe on all factory and custom wheels, removes brake dust and road grime. Great for white walls, no acid. So this is a two ounce sample and it's non-caustic. So I've tried other wheel cleaners and they did have a little bit of an acid base to them. Whether it be 5%, 10%, there was still some of an acidic base. And one of the ones that pops to my mind is Poor Boys their spray and rinse now i still do use that once in a while but i guess i kind of got lazy and i got away from the whole joy of cleaning and to me cleaning is a therapeutic type thing so when i spray it onto the wheels and i go over it with my hands on a mitt or brush or so on like that and it's just it's therapeutic it really is it calms me down i'm focusing on the task at hand instead of what's going on in real life outside of the car and the actual wash so that's to me the most important thing about detailing so this is interesting i'm going to try this and i will try this on my actual car my wheels and that's just because i'm confident in the products that they're going to be putting in this box i'm confident that they're going to be putting products that have been tested thoroughly products that they vet on their end so we'll see but this is definitely something i'm interested in you know what let's give it the sniff test see what this sniff smells like no way it smells a little cherry so awesome let's put this down the next product let's move over and grab something here okay so there's no labeling on it but that's fine with me because it's probably listed on there again here's another decal I'm gonna put this on my laptop okay so what we got is a finger mitt Stick your hand in there. It's separated inside by stitching, so I guess you're gonna, you know, Star Wars it. You put this on here. It's got a foam insert, and it's very soft. You know what? I don't want to sound like a complete asshole, so let's see what this is. Okay, so what this product is, is it's by a company, I guess, called Auto Fiber, and it's called Wheel Fingers, which makes sense. This is going to be to clean the wheel. So I guess everything that they're putting in this box does have a purpose. It does have a reason. So this is going to be for wheel cleaning. And it feels good. I mean, I would put that on my wheels. No problems. All right. Let's try this. Oh, see, this is cool. Now I'm excited. Now we're seeing Leno's Garage. Let me tell you something about Leno's Garage. I've tried only a few of their products. So far, I've absolutely been blown away. I have nothing to say negative about this. So what's cool about this is I have not used this yet. I have their, let me see what I have. So far from Leno's Garage, I've had two bottles. I caught it on a buy one, get one. 
um, sale. This is their vehicle wash. This shampoo is actually very good. I recommend this. I've tried their evaporate. It's like um, the garden gloss by Adams polishes. Same premise. Their tire shine, one of my favorite tire shines of all tire shine time. And their eco wash. Now this is their, I guess, waterless wash. I guess some people misconstrue this. There's a waterless wash for more dirty things, and then there's a thing for a quick detailer. Now, what's cool about this and most quick detailers is they have gloss enhancifiers inside of them. So the premise of it is it's to remove light dusting, light dusting, and enhance the shine. So if you just got done cleaning your car and you get to the car show, having this in your glove box is probably gonna be a very cool idea and you're just gonna spray it on. Now, if the car's dirty, like mine's dirty right now, that would either warrant an eco wash, waterless wash, which we're gonna get to that in a second, or an actual two bucket hose car wash with the foam gun, the whole ordeal, depending on how insane you are, like I am. But this is definitely gonna be in my glove box, so we're gonna be testing these out over time. It's just hard with the weather, not cooperating, but we're still gonna open these boxes because this is freaking awesome. Thank you, guys. So, since we already pointed to it and we just got done talking about Quick Detailer, here's the one-two punch. They got a waterless wash. Now, I've used Adam's waterless wash. I would say in the waterless wash world, this is one of the better ones, and you all know my reputation with Adams. I don't hate them. I just feel like they're just a marketing company first and a detail company second, but that's just a personal opinion. Now, for this product, it's got a good smell. It's, um, I, I guess it's kind of like a bare bones type product. It, it's going to clean the surface, and that's the whole point. So I've used this. I had a gallon at one point. I did use it. I've escalated to different waterless washes only because I like to experiment. I like to try things. And funny story about waterless wash. In that box right there is the new Ammo Frothy. So I just got that in the mail today, and we're going to be testing that out in future videos, but I'm excited about that. But right now, this being in my glove box, this is a one-two punch right here. Leno's and Adams, you can waterless wash on the areas that are a little bit more grime time, like the bottom panel of the car, and you can go over the top with light dusting for just a quick shine if you want to give it a little spruce up. Very cool. Seriously? Before we get into what that last product is, this has just been staring us in the face, so let's talk about it. This is obviously another product by the world famous and awesome rag company. This is the Minx Royal Towel. Now I'm gonna tell you straight up, I have one of these towels, and I love it. It's super, super, super plush. It feels amazing. It's, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. Let me point this camera up a little bit more. It's a 16 by 16. It's just super luxurious. This is the type of towel you're gonna use for like a quick detail, a final buff, where you really just wanna treat your paint because this is the kind of towel that would do that. Now, like I said, I do have this towel and another reason why I'm definitely gonna continue with this company is because now they're showing me through action, not just words like all these other boxes and all these other detailing type monthly companies. They're showing me through actions that they're gonna be providing me with quality towels. Why do I know this? Because I told you, I already had this towel. I actually like this towel. This is gonna be towel number five for me. What's my favorite number? Five. Glove box detail, you nailed it. That's awesome. So, we're gonna put this here. I'm not gonna combine these there, but this is the same towel, all right? And it's a quality towel. It's a good towel. Freaking sweet. All right, guys. So, the last product that we're gonna be looking at. Oh, wow, you're kidding me. Are you serious? What? They put, I didn't even know this existed, Sonex wheel cleaner. Now, this is this is going back for me. I, this is one of my all-time favorite wheel cleaners. It's just a very pricey wheel cleaner, but I had no idea that Sonex put this in an aerosol can. That's insane. I, I'm out of the loop a little bit here and there, sorry. <laughs> But this is really cool. This is a fantastic freaking wheel cleaner. Now, it's kind of crazy. I'm learning along with you all about this box and, and seeing if there's a theme. And basically what it is, is you're cleaning the paint, shining the paint, and cleaning your tires. Obviously, you're not going to be doing this outside. 
without a hose and water for the wheel part, but everything else, this is awesome. This is a car show staple right here. This with this is a car show staple. So you're covered. Over here, this is a garage staple. You know, you wanna test this product out, it's got a good smell to it. I know for a fact that Sonax is kinda stinky. It's a potent type um, setup, but this one says acid free. I don't know if that's new. I have a feeling that might be new because I've never, I don't remember seeing acid free being advertised on the um, the older bottles. So this could be cool and I appreciate that because let's look at the theme here. Again, themes, that's non-caustic. So there's no acid there, no acid here. Very smart of this company to be supplying us with products that are non-acidic. I really truly appreciate that because there are companies out there that just throw these products together. They're like, oh, it's going to absolutely rip the brake dust right off your wheels. Yeah, along with my freaking finish, too. It's going to dull my finish. It's going to dull my driveway. I've had wheel cleaners on my previous cars. If I showed you right now on my driveway, there's a staining. There's four stains for each tire. So, obviously, what did that? Caustic cleaners did that. But, anyway, like we did on the last video, we're going to end this, wrap this up by showing you what's on the menu. And we're just going to do a quick recap. So the first one was the wheel finger. The wheel fingers. I don't know why they're calling it wheel fingers when it's a wheel finger. I guess it's, to me it's different. But it's by Auto Fiber. And also you get a 10% off GB10 coupon, I guess, with that company. The red company, the Minx Royal Microfiber Towel. 10% off if you went and did Glove Box 10 on the red company. Jay Leno's Garage, quick detailer. You get 15% off of all... Jay Leno's Garage products by using this code. So again, if you didn't see the first box, you're not only just getting products, there's videos associated with this, and there's discount codes for more discounts. So you're getting and getting and getting. So here we go. Waterless wash from Adams Polishes. You put in the code GBADAMS, you get 20% off of all products. That's insane too. Sonax Wheel Cleaner. 20% off Sonax wheel cleaner stuff. Like, <laughs> seriously, come on. How is that even possible? Wizards products. So this is a company that I'm going to start seeing, I suppose. And another reason, as I said, that I like this box is that they're going to start throwing in... Okay, so now if you're into detailing, you know Adams, you know Leno's Garage, you know Sonax. You might not have heard of Wizards. But that's what I like. The oddball... Put me in the game, coach. I want to play. I might hit a home run, but you don't know because you've never seen me play. That could be a home run. So we're going to try that out. And uh, if it works, you're going to know. If it doesn't work, oh, you're definitely going to know. So as as always, here you go. Um, Gloveboxdetail.com slash social. And it says, see about their how-to videos. So they're going to be putting their how-to videos here. And I do see on their Instagram that they are putting little clips and stuff, which that's another thing. They're doing demos. They're showing you how to do the products. Very, very impressive. This was definitely a successful April box. Kudos. Golf clap. You get it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate that. All the support, it means everything. But that's it, guys. This is uh, this is the roundup. So overall, very cool box. Totally worth it. If you did get it, congratulations. If you are not subscribed to this box, what are you doing? You can go in the link below, go to their website, sign up for the box, use the code OCD when you check out, and you're going to get a discount for the first three months. So use the discount. Get the first three boxes and, and get a feel for it. Do you feel like it's worth it? You're going to get about $50 worth of products for $25. I believe you're spending like $18. So the reasoning behind this, it makes sense. Give it a shot. What are you going to do? $18 or so a month for the next three months. And you're going to get $150 total for those three months worth of products. I think it's kind of a no-brainer. You might find a product that you never knew existed. And it could be really cool. So check them out. And maybe we'll see. Hopefully they send me a Maybox. We'll see. As always, I'll see you on the next one.